is part of our ongoing exploration. Uh, we never stopped exploring after the first discovery of Homo naledi back in 2013. And we've continued to push the boundaries of the rising star cave system, which is behind three and a half kilometers of map system so far. And we continually go into more and more difficult spaces. The little skull of Leti was discovered in one of the most extreme spaces within one of the most extreme caves within Africa to get into, 12 meters beyond the Dinaledi uh, chamber. And I know that doesn't sound like far, but it's 12 incredibly difficult uh, uh, meters to get into. The passage where Letty's skull was found alone is 15 centimeters wide and 80 centimeters long. And there she was found up on a small shelf of limestone, just her skull sitting alone. We have no idea how she got there. We have no idea where her body was. And we can only think that this little four to six year old child, two to three hundred thousand years ago, was possibly placed there by one of her relatives. And one of the beautiful things that, about little Letty's skull, which means the lost one, is that uh, it has enough preserved here, particularly brow ridges, the top of the skull, and most importantly, all of these teeth here, permanent teeth, which you see here, deciduous teeth on the bottom, that tell us she is exactly like all of the other Homo naledi that we've discovered. This is another situation of, we have really no other way of understanding how this got there other than by the hands of another hominid. There are no marks of scavengers on here, no predator marks, and it certainly wasn't washed there. We can see that from the sediments. Mm -hmm. And we're left with the intriguing idea. Was her little skull placed there to protect it? The idea of adults and other children, certainly in the dental eddy chamber, 12 meters away, there are lots of them. There are dozens of individuals, adults and others, that are in that small space, scattered about that small space. This one's unique. It's moved. If it, it may have originally been there. It's possible that may be where we at one day find her mandible and body and unite it together after hundreds of thousands of years. Future work will obviously tell that. All we know is this little child, this little child's skull, was alone in that dark space.